Okay, now we want to learn what does gravity tell us about the inside of the Earth. So first we need to learn what is the force of gravity. And any force is a push or a pull. So the force of gravity would be the pull of gravity caused by mass. So any two objects that have mass are going to be pulling on each other. So here in this picture you see mass number one and you see mass number two and they're separated by a distance r. So the force of gravity is going to be big G where big G is a fundamental constant of nature that controls gravity and you should recognize that because we looked at that earlier when we talked about the pressure inside the earth and we said that the pressure was caused by the weight of all the rocks that were on top of you and it had that letter in it so it's ultimately the pressure is being caused by the gravity acting on that mass that was pulling being pulled down so the formula is that it's going to be big G m1 times m2 divided by the distance between them squared okay so let's try it so this thing has mass my head has mass so I'm going to take this I'm gonna let it go and then according to this formula this thing would be attracted to my head and so it's gonna be sucked into my head alright eh, it didn't work alright so what's the problem my head is not big enough so if my head was the size of a planet then its mass would be enough to where you could actually see that pin being drawn towards my head. But I'm, I'm really serious here that every object in the universe is pulling on every other object in the universe according to this law of gravity. All right, now how are we going to measure gravity? So we measured uh, seismic waves with a seismometer uh, and now we are going to measure gravity with a gravitometer. So how does a gravitometer work? Uh, it has a weight which is attached to a spring. Okay, then as you take your mass, and let's say that there's a very massive object right here, and then you bring this weight over it, it's going to feel that mass as being attracted to it, and the spring is going to stretch and then somehow that spring is going to be attached to a pin or something so that it can tell you how far did the spring stretch and then based on that you can get an idea for how much mass was underneath that weight that was suspended by the spring so in this uh, that's essentially how a gravitometer uh, is going to work Okay, in our next segment, we're now going to take our gravitometer and we want to know what pieces of information can we learn about the inside of the Earth.